This is the solution to written homework 26. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, we want to solve this equation. Okay. So, the first thing to do is let's check the natural domain. So, the natural domain. Uh, so, because of this term, because of that term, the x under the radical, we'll need x to be greater or equal to zero. And furthermore, because of that term, we'll need the same thing. And then square root x will be a non-negative result, times seven will still be non-negative, and then plus four will be positive. So this is the only requirement. So that x must be greater or equal to zero, written in interval notation like this. Okay, so then now let's perform some operations. Okay, so if we square both sides, square root x plus 2 squared is square root of 4 plus 7 square root x squared. So that square cancels the big radical on the right hand side, so that's good. That gives us 4 plus 7 square root x on the right hand side. On the left hand side we can FOIL this out. So that would be square root x squared and then plus 2 times square root x plus another 2 times square root x is 4 square root x, and then plus 4. And I'll note that squaring both sides, which we did in that step, that's not a truth-preserving step. Uh, extraneous solutions may have been introduced as a result of that step, so we, that's why you have to check at the end. So then doing that, carrying this out a little further, this would be x plus 4 square root x plus 4 is 4 plus 7 square root x. Okay. So now the 4 and the 4 they cancel. So we have x plus uh, 4 square root x is 7 square root x. And then we can subtract 4 square root x from both sides to obtain x is 3 square root x. So we're going to now, to get rid of this radical, square both sides again. So that would be x squared is 3 square root x squared. And again, this step squaring both sides, that's not truth preserving, which means that yes, we will have to check at the end. So this is x squared is equal to 9x. <coughs> x squared is 9x. So I'll move the 9x to the other side. x squared minus 9x is 0. So then x multiplied by x minus 9 is 0. So the solutions are x is 0 or x is 9. Okay, the presumed solution. So the first check is that, okay, both of those satisfy the natural domain. And now we need to check, did they solve the original equation? Well, if you plug in 0, you would get 0 plus 2 is <coughs> square root 4 plus 0, because square root of 0 is 0 times 7 is 0 plus 4 is 4. And square root of 4 is 2, so this one's good. 
and now let's check 9. So then that would be 3 plus 2 equal to four, uh, square root of 4, and then 7 plus 7 times 3. Well, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25, the square root of which is 5, and 3 plus 2 is 5, so both of those are good. So then the answer is x is 0 or x is 9. Okay, so then on this one, looking at this absolute value of something is 14. Okay, so when you have something inside of absolute value equal to something positive, that means that there's in fact two possibilities. So let's track both of these possibilities. So one possibility is that uh, the left hand side, the, the thing being put into the absolute value could be negative 14, because if the thing inside of the absolute value is negative 14, the absolute value of that would be 14. Another possibility <coughs> is that 3x squared plus x could be positive 14. Okay, now setting both sides equal to 0, set in each equation setting one of the sides equal to zero. So that would be 3x squared plus x uh, plus 14 is zero, or 3x squared plus x minus 14 is equal to zero. So here's two separate quadratic equations. Let's compute the discriminant. So the discriminant for this one b squared minus 4ac, so that would be 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times 14. Well, in this case, the discriminant is, uh, well, I don't know what that number is, so 4 times 3 is 12 times 14 is some number over 100, so 1 minus some big number, this discriminant would be negative, and therefore there are no real solutions. But we were asked to find the real solutions, so that means that there's no solutions to this branch. <coughs> but this branch could continue because the discriminant here would be 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 14. And so now we're adding uh, a big number. Let's see, let's get the calculator. So that would be. Four, 4 times 3 times 14, 168, and then plus 1. So the discriminant is 169. Okay, that's nice. 169. So we know that there will be two real solutions. And furthermore, because the discriminant is 169, and because 169 is 13 squared, that means that when we actually compute uh, the solutions, we will get rational solutions. Okay, so let's compute them. So x is negative b, so negative 1, and then plus or minus square root of discriminant, 169 over 2a, so 2 times 3, that's 6. So then that would be negative 1 plus or minus 13 over 6. So x is, there's two possibilities. We could have uh, negative 14 negative 14 over 6 
or we could have x is uh, 12 over 6, which is 2. So we're writing this as um, negative 7 thirds, or x is 2. These are the only two answers to the question. So let's make sure that that, that looks right. So in the case of 2, in the case of 2, uh, that would be 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, the absolute value of which is 14. So that's good. In the case of negative 7 thirds, negative 7 thirds squared is 49 over, uh, yeah, 49 over 9. You multiply that by 3, that would be 49 over 3. And then <clears throat> you add negative 7 over 3 to 49 over 3, that's 42 over 3, uh, negative 42 over 3, no, just 42 over 3, and the absolute value of 42 over 3 is 14, because 42 over 3 is 14. So both of these are solutions.